Welcome back to d -Dub. This is d -Dub. I'm coming to you today with a video on Yoshi's Crafted World. Now, this was, I guess, supposed to be a review, and as I don't have a capture card, I pretty much just set the camera on a tripod and filmed the TV screen, and it didn't come out as nice as I had hoped. It really doesn't look that good, so this is kind of just a low-quality, terrible review for Yoshi's Crafted World. Now... I played the demo a couple weeks ago and I was pretty excited for this game. We had seen very little from it in 2018 and we thought it was coming out and then it just sort of disappeared at that point. So it was good to see recently that a demo was released and then we actually had a release date for it. So I played the demo, it was really good looking, really fun. You know, this is Nintendo's first game in Unreal Engine 4. so release date came and I picked it up and I gotta say I actually like it I like it a lot I probably like it better than uh, Yoshi's Woolly World which came out on the Wii U I kind of went back and played that one recently just to see what the differences would be and I think this game is definitely a higher quality yeah. uh, you basically have a couple levels that are sort of similar themed per each world instead of like a Mario where you have eight levels in world one that are all kind of the same. Here you have different worlds with a couple different levels that are similar themed. So you kind of go through each little part of the map, each little section, and uh, you have several levels for each part of the map. So the really nice thing about this game is that everything was done with crafting materials. You know, you got paper and ribbons and matchsticks and things glued together you have cardboard that's tacked together or taped so aesthetically this game is very very nice looking and i think it is clear to see just by looking at the game that the extra year that they took in uh delaying it from sometime in you know late spring to early summer of 2018 to now which it actually came out you know at the end of march for 2019 i think that extra year that they took was a really smart move and i think it just comes through in the the visual and the gameplay because just by looking at this game you can tell that the main emphasis was actually on the visuals as well as the the crafting mechanic and uh, the whole flip the world thing which at the end of each level you can go through in reverse and play each level and go through and collect several things like some of the poochie pups but uh to me that was one of the letdowns when the the level reverses you pretty much only go through and find the three poochie pups and uh, I, th I thought that was a little bit of a letdown that when the, the levels flip that there would actually be more to do or maybe more to see which there kind of is because you can see the backside of all the staging and all the props you can actually see how much extra work went into like if you actually craft something and you have it taped together you hide everything obviously on the backside like school projects and stuff like that so that, that is one of the nice things is when you go back through the levels backwards you're going from the finish to the end with it reversed and you can see just all the extra pieces of tape and string and things like that and the extra stuff that went into actually making this game so I think doing the levels backwards was a whole nother world of trouble for them when making this game. So there's about 40 levels in this game you have 16 different worlds with the amount of levels ranging from two to three in each of those worlds. Some have just two levels, some have three levels, some have two levels with a boss fight at the end. So there's actually 16 worlds with two to three levels in each in a total of uh, five boss battles. There's 173 costumes that you can get in this game. And then along with going through each level in reverse and finding all the poochie pups, as well as finding the poochie pups in a certain amount of time to gain the uh, sun stars or sunflowers. Yeah, they're, they're sunflowers, I think. <laughs> so in addition, you can go through each level forwards and I believe each level has about five to seven. I think some of the levels have seven, some of them have six of the sun stars. So you obviously go through, you don't obviously, it's so obvious. Dumb. I sound stupid. So yes, you obviously... <laughs> Damn it. You go through and you get all of the sunflowers. 
as well as you can collect a bunch of red coins now. The red coins don't actually do anything, so I don't know what they're there for other than to just give you one more thing to actually do to collect, but the regular coins can be used for the 176 costumes, which I didn't really like that much. Some of them are kind of cool, but uh, most of them are just like cr empty creamer containers and you know, that sort of thing. Then you can also use Amiibo, which I only have a couple Amiibo from the actual Mario universe. And um, I put Mario and Bowser in, so you have a Bowser costume. And he looks kind of cool, but aside from that, there didn't seem to be, and there doesn't seem to be too much emphasis on the uh, Amiibo integration with Nintendo games. Not so much anymore. They're kind of just being... I guess phased out other than for the decoration purposes of them they're not really too much for me they give you a bunch of extra damage for when you're actually playing through the levels you get several extra hits taken to you before your costume falls off and then you can just take your regular amount of damage before you die this game is actually pretty easy now it's not completely just a walk in the park. There are some tricky parts to some of these levels. There are some jumping distances or some enemies that you have to dodge and actually a couple few puzzles that were actually a little bit tricky. Like I said, they're, they weren't hard. They were just kind of tricky. You have to use your brain a little bit, but overall this is a pretty easy game and this would be great for pretty much any kid to any adult to actually play through I think it has a lot of enjoyment for anybody and I've been playing it quite a bit actually in the past week or so that I've had it I've gone through a bunch of the levels several times did a little bit of the collecting on the reverse side with the poochie pups and you know things like that but for this being the sixth game in the whole entire Yoshi series I kind of expected it to be a little bit boring and even though it is kind of meaty with the amount of content and the amount of collecting and the little bit of trickery and the few puzzles that there are to solve and i mean there's only you know five boss fights they're not particularly hard but i actually enjoyed this game more than i thought i was going to i thought and we kind of all thought that it was going to be kind of like kirby star allies which was a good game and very well polished it was just really short it was just not it didn't have enough difficulty and you could just kind of breeze through like that game kind of just allowed you to just sit back and with the extra allies that you had on your side you really didn't even have to play the game and if you wanted to play the game you couldn't just do that on your own you had to get the allies to have certain abilities to get through certain parts so you would basically just have to get the allies on your side to use their abilities to get through the next part and then basically just kill them off so that you could actually play the game by yourself otherwise it just played the game for you and that's what a lot of people had issues with but I don't see that issue here this game just ends up being just a really slow fun time you can just take your time you can just put it in and sit down and relax there's no extra stress it's just nice looking and i really think that they nailed the yoshi formula here i think there could have just been a little bit extra to do or maybe a little bit more point in collecting the red coins and maybe a few more puzzles or a little bit of extra collecting for of, of something with some kind of end game to actually collect for but overall this game is really it's a really good game and i'm hoping that they just proceed on with the formula for future iterations of this game because they, they got a pretty good thing going here and for it being like i said the sixth game um it's actually quite a bit better than some of the other ones there was a couple that weren't really that great and i think yoshi's willy world was really good it just i think the whole uh, mechanic for it just kind of got old a little bit fast and here for this game it doesn't seem like we're having that problem nothing new here they're not reinventing the wheel it's just a real relaxed fun and kind of simple but still a little bit tricky 2d platformer and there still is a lot of charm here there's a lot of great things to this game there's even just the colors like 
the thing looks really amazing. So my score is, I'm giving it a 83 out of 100. I think it ticks off the checkbox on a lot of good qualities here. And, you know, if you think that this is your kind of game, I would say go pick it up. Now, it's probably going to be a little bit before we see any sort of discount. Maybe you can find it on Amazon or Best Buy in a couple months for a little bit cheaper. Maybe like 40 bucks. I think if you have Amazon Prime, you can get it for about 50 But I just went to Best Buy and picked this up outright at 60 And I got to say, I had a good time. Actually, a great time with it. It's really nice, really fun to just put on and to just be relaxing. It's not too challenging it's pretty much fun for anyone my six-year-old he likes Yoshi and he had a blast with this game I would say I probably put about 14 15 hours into it so that was my experience with it so let me know what you think did you guys play this did you uh, pick up the demo did you play the demo do you plan on picking it up at all in the future or are you probably waiting for like a sale or something I know this isn't everyone's type of game so it's obviously not for everyone, but with that said, like I said, I am giving it an 83, and uh, I definitely think it's worth the money. Another great Yoshi game. Another great game by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. So this has been just an overall terrible video from me filming the TV screen with just a Nikon Coolpix, what is it, L820? Uh, it didn't come out as good as I had hoped. This actually took me way, <laughs> it took way longer than it should have. I should have just went ahead and did the 30 second clips capturing the footage native off the switch, but uh, I was a little bit too impatient and then I just went ahead and just started filming the TV screen and then after that going into, yeah, believe it or not, I'm using Adobe, but I'm so new to video editing that I then pretty much locked all the video clips together so no fancy transitions here no fancy text no fancy nothing it's actually terrible editing no editing really no transitions no nothing like that so i'm just getting started here guys and it's obviously a learning process a lot more goes into this than you know most people would think and i knew that going in but Regardless, I tried. So, isn't that what matters? I uh, hope this video was not too uh, too terrible to watch. I hope somebody could stomach it. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to look forward to more videos. I'm going to be doing a couple different things. So, if you want to be on the lookout for that, I'm going to have something coming sooner. I'm really trying to be doing daily videos uh, different things like gaming related, maybe some reviews, so things like that. If you guys want to keep on the lookout for that, please subscribe to D-Dub. This is D-Dub, and uh, oh yeah, hit the bell. Don't forget about that. You gotta hit the bell. You gotta smash the bell. So go ahead and smash that bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.